This video will demonstrate how to create and customize home pages for your course. So when you jump into your course, the first thing here that you will see is the home page. And there are some default templates for the home page. If you haven't ever gone into the home pages area of your course, you're likely using the default template. So I will show that in just a minute. So your home pages are made up of several widgets. Um, this is actually a custom home page in here, so I'll explain some of the widgets. The first one you're gonna see here is the announcements widget. Um, you'll also see a welcome and get started widget. This is a custom widget. This is not a system widget. You can see welcome and get started. We actually created this one and there is another video out there for creating the custom widgets. There's the calendar widget. Uh, that is a system widget. The content browser, which is another system widget. And then there's a couple other widgets here, the cat video widgets. These are also uh, custom widgets. So if I want to edit my home page, I'm going to go to Course Admin, and I'm going to go to Home Pages. And I've got a lot of options here. So I can come up here and I can create a home page, or I can click on one of these that's the active home page, which and we can look in here and see the news and content is the active home page. I can click on this to edit it. Um, if you're not able to click, like we'll notice here there's a Talon Course Home, Talon Course Home Daylight. This is actually the default home page for Kirkwood. If you see this um, and this is set as your active home page, you're not going to be able to click on it. And the reason why is because it's set as a, a system home page. If you want to make changes to it, you're going to have to make a copy of it. And you can do that by clicking the arrow next to it and clicking copy. And what that will do is just make a complete copy of this particular, that particular home page, and then you'll be able to go in and customize it and edit it that way. Um, but we're gonna actually, for this tutorial, go in and just create a brand new one. So we'll create a brand new home page, and we'll call this one my cat home page for my cat course. You can add a description that's totally optional. Uh, the type, you can either have widget-based, um, you can also have tool-based. This is not a very popular option. Generally, most instructors use the widget-based, but you could set a tool and you can t have it take students to the content or course content immediately upon entering the class. So they skip over that home page completely. Um, again, not used very often here at Kirkwood. I can see some benefit in it, but I'd actually recommend keeping up with the course homepage and using the utilizing the widgets because I think it gives students like a nice overview of the course and allows you to communicate with them through the announcements. There is another option to do an external URL um, that when they click on the course, it'll actually take them directly there. Might be useful if you're using publisher content, but we still strongly recommend you have a talent section as well that then directs them to it just for consistency purposes. So in general, you're probably going to use this widget based homepage. Okay, so by default, it's going to put the header here, and um, this fancy org unit name just means the name of the course. So what that does is at the very top, you'll see a banner, and then in the banner, in the, the pretty picture, you see the name of the course. What this will do is, uh, right underneath of that, put the course name again. So you get it like course name in the banner and then course name right below it. It gets a bit redundant, so we usually recommend unchecking this box. And then you can choose your layout. Um, the two basic panels is the default setting. Uh, most instructors will use that two basic panels. You get the one, uh, the one panel that's a little bit bigger on the left-hand side and then the smaller one on the right-hand side with the columns. You can also choose just one. Um, you can choose to have the two and then one underneath. You can choose all sorts of different configurations here. So we're just gonna stick with the, uh, the basic option. And then I get to do the fun part, I get to actually add the widgets to my home page. So let's take a look at the widgets. Um, there's a lot of different options for widgets here. I'm definitely going to want to add announcements. And um, of course, I'm going to add the cat video widget. And we'll add one more just for fun. We'll add the instructor information widget. and talent technical support. So this is gonna put the widgets and it's just gonna all put them in that first column because that's where I clicked on add widgets. But if I don't want them all there, 
So let's say, for example, I want my cat video widget over here on the side. I can just drag and drop it over there. Same thing with my talent technical support. Now it's just a little bit more even. So I'm going to go ahead and save and close that. And I'm thinking, oh, I'll just go back to my home page and it'll be there. And that's not true. There's one more step here. So what I need to do then is I need to change my active home page. Right now it's set to that news and content. But I want to change this to my cat home page. So I have to select it from the drop down menu and then I have to click apply. And now that I've done that, now I'm going to see that this is set to my active home page. So now I can go back to my page here and I can see there's my cat video widget, my announcements, the instructor information widget, and the talent technical support widget that I added on here.